So you probably saw a video of someone playing the Stance Dance Revolution clone, barely moving their feet, and want to see how you can play this game yourself. This game is called In the Groove, or ITG for short. This game is really fun and a great exercise, but can seem expensive to outsiders. Fortunately for you, that's just the pad itself. Everything else you need to get started, you most likely already have. For context, later in the video, this is where a chart is. The game is divided into three groups, the first of which is the technical and timing community. They focus on how accurate your inputs are to the music, as well as note segments, which are called patterns that require a player to twist and turn their bodies in order to hit all the notes accurately to the music. The next community is the modding community. These players play charts that the notes and or play field are visually obstructed. This style of chart is called a mod chart. Then you have the stamina community. These players like to push themselves to their physical limits with notes that don't require advanced movements to hit and easy to see but are really fast and long. That's what I'm going to talk about today. So you probably don't have an arcade with an in the groove arcade cabinet, but that's okay. You can still play ITG without one, and this tutorial will show you how to. First things first, you need to download ITG Mania. It's the program we use to play modern ITG. Go on the website, click download, and choose your operating system. Then, once it's done downloading, click on it. Then, once Windows Protector comes up, click more info, and click run anyways. Then click yes, then click next, then I agree, then next, then install. The packs that are already installed are Club Fantastic and Club Fantastic Season 2, which are great packs to start out with. Once you're ready to move on from those packs, you can go to itgpacks.com for more packs. The packs I suggest are ITG is just a step away. The starter pack of stamina, slow streams, and Lindsay Stroh. A player and step artist by the name of Tuke has a great document covering the packs for newcomers. After you found your packs, drag them into the step mania folder and then to your songs folder and then unzip them. Now go to your ITG Mania file and then go to program files, then go to itgmania.txt, then go down to settings using arrow keys and enter and escape to enter and exit. Go down to manage local profiles, then create one. Then go to groovestats.com and click register and then make your profile. Then once you're done with that, edit your profile and copy the API key. Then go to your files and on the top of the screen type in percent sign app data percent sign then enter and now find ITG mania in the files then go to save then go to local profiles then click on the one with all zeros then open group set to INI with notepad or another text editor then paste your API key then go down to pad player and if you are one, set it to 1, and if you aren't one, set it to 0. There, you're finally done going through files. Now, time for the pad stuff. That's the thing that people wiggle on. Dom ITG has a very helpful video about finding a great pad for you, and I'll link it in the description for you. Now, we are getting into how to work with Step Mania and how to use it efficiently. If you already know how to use Step Mania, then skip it this section in the video. And to the rest of you, hi. Go into ITG Mania and go up to Options. Then go to System Options. Here, you can change the game. Just set it as Dance if you want to play ITG. You can also change language in this menu. Now, go to Exit, then go to Configure Keyboard plus Pad and Mappings. Here, you will make it so your pad actually functions for keyboard. It's just to get your keybinds right. Then, press save to disk, and then exit when you're done. Graphics plus sound options next. You can change the aspect ratio and display resolution to fit your setup. At the bottom, you can change offset if you know. If you don't, keep it at 0 milliseconds and change it once you do know. 
Accuracy doesn't really matter a whole lot in stamina, but it's important when you get better at the game to a certain degree. Now, go to Groove Stats Options and select Yes for Groove Stats to be enabled and Yes to auto download unlocks. Then, the rest of the options are self explanatory. Now, if you exit the options menu, you can click Gameplay. Then, select the color, choose ITG if you want to do accuracy and do FA plus it adds a tighter timing window to the top timing window than regular. If you hit left and right arrows at the same time in the song wheel, a menu pops up to change the way songs are ordered in and other options like to change ITG mode to FA plus mode without backing out to view downloads and reload songs. Once you click a song and hit enter, then hit enter again to change more options, you can change note skins, judgments, and other options. Also, the rate mod changes the beats per minute of the song, or BPM for short, and just makes it faster or slower. At the top, you can see a C, M, or X in a menu, and these are what we call scroll speed mods, and the third types the C mod, which means it's constant, so the arrows never slow down or speed up. Then there's M mod, which means the maximum rate the arrows would travel down the screen at. Then X mod means the speed the arrows go down at the screen depends on the BPM of the song and can change speed. Now go down to the bottom and choose advanced options. You can change things like measure counters and other stuff. And if you played another rhythm game before ITG, with down scroll, you can enable reverse to make it down scroll for ITG. So, you're officially set up. One last thing is you might want to join the Stamina Nation Discord server. It's a great community of ITG Stamina players, and almost every player who actually plays Stamina is in it. There are other Discord servers like the International Timing Collective, or ITC for short, Discord for Tekken Timing players, and the Not ITG Mods level for the mod community and SRPG6 just released, and it's a very fun way to play the game. I want to give a special thank you to Teach USB, Dom ITG, Matt M, and Toffer K for helping me with this video. Cheers!